hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you guys how i created this brighter hair minimalist brighter hair and seamless flawless gorgeous brighter makeup and if it's your first time here kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell as well enjoy this video and leave a comment down below and thumbs up for me if you enjoyed this video done with her hair now looking gorgeous minimalist brighter hairstyle and over to makeup i'm just cleaning up and grooming her brows up next i'm going in with this coconut oil just to deep cleanse her skin for extra dirt or dust or extra makeup that she might not have removed see this see the wipes the wipes has extra or leftover makeup on her skin so i'm gently going over her lips right now just to get out all the flakiness we don't want any dry lips when it's time to do her lips up next is this nuban beauty illuminator so I'm just going over it on, on her neck. Up next is TM Moisturizer and Mattifier. So I'm just applying that on her skin and gently working it into her skin. Up next is finishing spray to hydrate the skin and locking the moisturizer and the mattifier on her face. Up next is the Nuban Beauty highlighter the glow from within so for foundation i'm using this mac foundation You know the only rule here is blend and blend and blend blend it all out i'm just going in with zaron concealer i'm sorry i didn't show that um so i'm just applying it in that corner at the edge just to give her face a lift then i gave her an e because her name is evelyn so and she loved it you can see her looking it in the mirror
so before going in with my setting powder i'm just going over the concealer to smoothen out all the lines that would have creased or that would crease just dive in don't be afraid to dive in to smoothen out your concealer before going in with your powder with your setting powder so i'm just going over her contour with mineralized skin finish in darkest deep and i'm also using it on her nose as well going in with some blush and bronzer yeah so going in with this cream blush from tm essential i was considering if i was going to regret using it and i regretted it but i had to go by it with my sponge and a powder blush as well for the brows i use beauty line by diddy this it has fast become the best oh well easy affordable for everyone really you know you don't have to always sharpen and it doesn't break as as much so i'm just filling out her brows pulling her brow line not over drawing just within her brows So for the tail of her brows, I'm just using a shade darker than her skin. I usually use that at the tail and beginning of the brows. I don't use the same as the, as the brow bone. I don't do that. So that way you have a, a really nice finish. You don't have to struggle with your concealer, trying to blend it out. So, time for eyeshadow. You know the rules. Blend, blend, blend. And don't stop blending. For bright, I really like their waterline to be white because it just gives a different kind of glow for me. I really love it. So I'm just lining her waterline. Going up next, going in with, um, I call it bridal glitter. <laughs> yes, so going in with the bridal glitter so you can start having that bridal effect. Makeup look. So the eyes are popping, I'm loving it. So just blending out any harsh line, then going in with Inglo Gel Liner, just lining her eyes, going over it with an eyeshadow just to smoke it out a little bit. So yeah.
time for mascara zero mascara all-time fave so just applying the mascara then oh lord I can bathe with setting spray I love how it takes away the powdery effect time for the lashes Ding. you know this switches the look from zero to one thousand like look at that eyes and look at the one that doesn't have lashes come on just switch the looks then don't forget the bottom lash just mascara it makes all the difference it does Going in with Inglot highlighter, just working it gently into her skin for that glow. I love this Inglot highlighter. I have it in different shades, just going over it on the brow bone, the nose, just just popping it. Make sure it's it's popping, just popping, just popping all over. So time for the lips. I'm just lining her lips with this Davis pencil. I couldn't find my pouch for my lip pencils, so I had to jump on the one I saw. So I'm just outlining her lips and just filling it out. Up next, I'm going in with this pretty pink from Zaron. This is one of my favorite, 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 favorite lipstick from Zaron. I really love it. I really, really love it. So yeah, lips, just blending it in making sure everything is popping and in the right position so, yeah. there you go you have your finished look see the hair popping i did a great job in this hair come on baby girl come on come on bride come on so guys See in my next video if you enjoyed this video kindly give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below love you guys bye So for after wedding party, we switched the leaves to red and it's popping. The girl is popping. I love everything about this look and we let her hair down.